Hey guys, how you doing? Okay, we're at a listening session uh, to pick a winner for the free recording studio day uh, that we did at a promo giveaway just before Christmas. So we've got about 20 or so, maybe 30 bands that have, that have added their video onto a link to win a free day in the studio. Now the criteria was it had to be fresh content. It can't be a SoundCloud link or a Facebook link. It absolutely can't be something that you've done in the past that you thought you'd add onto it. This is all about you creating fresh content. And the reason for that is because I wanna see who can be actual, actually be bothered to make a fresh video to see if they can they can win a competition because if you can then you should be doing a lot more content because i'm i'm seeing a lot of bands without enough content so today is a chance for us to go through everything see who we, who we feel is a winner and get someone in the studio and then while they're there we'll we'll probably do some filming as well so let's see how we get on Right, we've had a listen to everything. Some really great stuff, really high standard, and ideally we'd love to give everyone a studio, but we can't. Uh, so what we based our criteria on is a couple of things. Number one, what you sent through, which is the quality of, of uh, the song, the musicianship. Not too worried about the quality of recording, but the quality of, of songwriting and the quality of musicianship is very important. Um, also, from a character point of view, if there's anything that, that made us smile or made us laugh or anything like that, is you know, just a nice touch that, that was a part of it. Uh, on top of that then, we went to have a look at what you're doing from a momentum point of view of, of your project and how it's working. Uh, so we've come up with, what we were gonna do was one, one studio day, but we've actually come up with, a, with three. So it's gonna cost us a fucking fortune. <laughs> um, but anyway, thanks for everyone. We're, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna do this in, in maybe a month or two months, we're gonna do it again. So if you didn't get it this time, don't be disheartened because there was a lot of people that I think should be in the studio and I would love to be able to help them. Over the next year, we'll do it a bunch of times and we'll see if we can get a bunch more of you guys in the studio. But for the moment, the three winners are uh, Tyrant, so that's a band, four-piece band from, I think it was from Maidenhead, uh, which we thought has got a real good potential, very young. Um, a singer, songwriter, acoustic guy called Jordan L Lewis Lindsay, um, who we loved the song and we loved, we loved how hard he's working and he also made us laugh, which was good. And then the third one was Circus Street. Two guys, great harmonies, and I feel like I feel like two guys that I can really work with on their um, their social media. I feel like I can really improve that to, um, to to get some more results. So don't be disheartened if you didn't get it. Um, we'll we'll put the the winners into that. We'll do this again in a month or two, and make sure you do it again because this is all about the opportunity. One thing I have learned is this went out to about ten thousand people, and at least, at least 100 to 150 people have said to me, oh, I'm gonna do this, oh, that's really good, I'm gonna do it, and then didn't do it. So it just goes to show, of all the people that say they want it, compared to the actual people that will get off their ass and do something, there's not that many, which is very inspiring. So those three guys, Jordan Lewis Lindsay, Tyrant, Circus Street, well done, and we will uh, get in touch with you to organize a day in the studio, and hopefully we'll come and do some video in. And uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks to Katie and Charlie as well. <laughs> Vloggers are massive. I mean, in this day and age, vloggers are everything, but bands don't vlog enough. You know, live Facebook and, and, and YouTube are two ways that you can just have conversations with people. And it doesn't matter, you know, whereas, you know, where, whereas when you put a professional video on, someone might go and see that 30, 40, 50 times. If it's on Spotify, they might hear it three, 400 times per person. But the good thing with vlogging is, once they've seen it, they've seen it. They never have to see it again. But it's just keeping them on thinking about it and growing and all that kind of stuff. So you are a license to, to create content because you've got so many exciting things.
right guys, check this out, this is so cool. So before Christmas I was contacted by a, a musician, a uh, songwriter who also makes tea. And, and this guy has a thing called synthesia, which means he feels colors. Um, and uh, he, we love tea and he's very kindly sent us through this herbal infused tea which he's actually made himself so that we can listen to his music whilst actually drinking his tea which I think is really really cool but it's a little tag um, so let me just read this out because this is really cool. I have synthesis here. I feel colour when I hear music. This multi-sensory experience uh, of living gave me an idea. How could I expand the experience of Little Picture which is his song to be enjoyed by other senses. So what I'm do is I'm going to make the tea and all of us in the office are going to listen to this track and actually drink the tea. So let's see how it goes. Okay, this is a this is a DK office tea tasting session while we're listening to Arthur John Dove's Little Picture. Nice idea, let's try it. Make sure it's aligned with yours I'm obviously doubtful How could anyone Turn my opinion round Try to understand What all the fuss is about It is delicious tea, isn't it? He's done well with the tea. He has done very well with the tea. Massive thanks to Arthur for the cup of tea and, and we really appreciate that. We had a really nice time just listening to music, taking a break from everything, having a really relaxed, chill cup of tea. The tea's delicious, by the way. If the music uh, career fails, then you've definitely got a career in, in, in tea making uh, ability. Um, but it's a really interesting concept because one thing with all of this, with, with the whole um, story, the synthesis, um, hearing uh, or sort of seeing visuals whilst music and stuff and then making tea and sending it through and that whole story. But one thing that's very interesting is it gets your attention. It certainly got my attention. It got the guys in the, in the office's attention. We were asking questions. Who's this guy? What does he do? Oh, the music's really cool. The tea's delicious. Where can we hear more? That storytelling ability and also having a purpose it just means that they're nice. So, lovely tea. Yeah, so check him out. Um, Al will put his details on. Go and check out a bit more about him and hopefully we'll get some more music and some more tea soon because it's delicious. Rock and roll, dude.